Well, hello there. My name is Sometimes Heather and I play Elder Scrolls Online. Last time, I mentioned tweaks to Tinesa's build. That's going to have to wait until next week for today. I want to show you how to dig up a druidic provisioning station. Each DLC brings new antiquities to us. With the High Isle, we got, along with all kinds of cool style pages and mythic items, a provisioning station. For this furnishing, you'll need to find 10 golden leads scattered around High Isle. They're all hidden in plain sight, so you won't need to kill anything for them. I'll go through the leads in alphabetical order. As the leads glow, it might be smart to hunt them in the twilight of dusk and dawn. Now let's get started. Blending broomstick can be found in the north of High Isle. The lead is snuggled up next to a cliff east of Garrick's Rest. You can almost see the piece from the road. Keep an eye out for a tall tree. I would recommend gathering all leads first and then taking the time to scry them and dig up the pieces one by one. Seeing all the leads in your list of scribal antiquities makes life a little bit easier. Next, we'll travel to the southern parts of High Isle. Clay cooling pitcher can be found west of Spriggan's Ground, a striking locale close to the shore. The lead is waiting for you under roots next to a lonely tree watching the ocean. Cracked stone grill tray takes us to the island of Amenos. At Skulltooth Coast, you'll find a collection of shipwrecks. The one closest to the shore hides the lead. This location is sheltered by tall cliffs. A single road leads in. Following it will take you almost directly to the lead. Druidic Kettle Spout takes us back to the main island, close to another striking locale. A small firth enters the island north of Stonelaw Falls. To reach this one, you'll most likely need to slide down the cliff. The lead is hiding behind a boulder, but easy to spot. For Druidic Pestle, we'll return to Amenos. For this one, you'll need to go to the tunnel that leads to the hidden foundry crafting site. The tunnel is marked on your map with a dotted line. The lead is located south of the tunnel, quite close to the road. You'll find stone compartments built into the mountainside. The lead is hidden in one of them. Painted elk clay pot awaits nearby. There's a small lake in the Isle of Amenos. Following the road from the last site will take you there in no time. The lead is waiting in plain sight on a tiny island in the middle of the lake. Preparation surface can be found rather easily. Travel to Paywatch Isle Volcanic Vent Turn to face west and walk up the hill. You'll find the lead under a tree growing next to the mountain. Standing next to the tree, you can see the volcanic vent. Smoothed stone grinder can be found on another islet. This one is located in the lake in the middle of High Isle. In the northeast of the islet, you'll find a shipwreck in two parts. The lead is located behind a boulder between them. This lead is shielded by the boulder. You'll need to go into the water to see it. Woodfire Chamber is hidden in a small druidic settlement close to Dufort Shipyard Way Shrine. There's a small lava lake south of the cottages. Behind it, nestled in with the boulders, Behind Drunk Thorcrit, you'll find the lead. Woven Straining Pool is the last lead on the list. You'll find it next to a tree very close to the road east of Castle Navir Way Shrine. First, you'll see a pointy boulder, and behind that, the lead resting next to a tree. Now, each lead must be scryed and dug up. 
leads expire in 30 days, so you'll need to use them in that time frame. As these leads are golden, using them will require a bit of work. You will run out of time on antiquity sites, and you will break containers. With patience, uncovering all 10 pieces will grant a druidic provisioning station that allows you to create any provisioning recipe from the comfort of your chosen home. I placed mine in the exercised coven cottage. It's a perfect fit for Tisha's home. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Next week, I'll return to Tenesa. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later. Ta!